kind of like a typical story for most bands, I think. You know, you start off and you, you're playing shows all around and for, as, as you go along the path, certain people figure out that it's not for them and, you know, two years later, you you end up with a, with a bunch of guys that are all on the same page and want to go to the same place and that's what happened with us. I don't think our line, lineup changes have been any different from any band that's really ever done anything, to be honest, you know. And Yeah, I mean, or- originally Chris and myself met, we started, we... One of our first shows we played with a, uh, Rob's band, and then he came into the mix, and then a couple of years ago Aaron joined, and yeah, so it's been quite natural, really, the whole transition. I'd already come from uh, like a, a background of various other bands, and um, like my sort of way of finding uh, Heaven's Basement was kind of uh, through the internet a little bit, and you know through various. Um, you know, I'd obviously played on the scene for a little bit. We'd never played together, but they're a band that I'd seen in the magazines before, and I was like, well, if they're looking for a singer, then I'll, I'll send, them a, send them an email, see what's going on. Um, and there, I uh, ended up getting dropped in at the deep end. <laughs> the best phrase would probably be unpredictable, energetic, and chaotic. A lot of sweat, and uh, just four guys up on stage having the time of their lives, because that's what we love doing. We've played live pretty much our whole musical lives is in different bands and things and we just love being up on stage and having yeah, a good it's time. The most, it's the most fun aspect of being in Heaven's Basement. And, you know, every show, like Rob said, is uh, like going into the unknown and we put our all into every show, whether it's a, a small club for the first time we're playing in a town we've never been to before or whether it's a, you know, main stage festival in Europe or wherever. But ever since our first show, uh, which was in Los Angeles, October 2012, I can't really think of any any down moments with any any shows we played. You know, um, playing all the US festivals last May, we played like the whole month aloud, Kansas Rock Fest, Rock on Range, Carolina Rebellion. It was incredible to be on on these lineups with so many great bands. You know, we was on, one of the only English bands on there, so it, it it felt really special, didn't it? You know, just a few months after our album came out and the reception was really good. It seems like there's a good. Um, interest in our music and people are into it so that's all you can ask for yeah it feels like the american crowds are just real up for it passionate music lovers and there's no like pretentious kind of like oh i'm here just to be cool kind of thing like everyone is just well up for it which suits our band perfectly basically uh we did our album with a producer called john feldman um we came over here into america i think it was in 2012 just looking to meet producers and things and see who we thought would be the best guy for the job and literally on the first day of meeting him we ended up finishing nothing left to lose. It came out of um, some new ideas mixed in with an old idea that we had. And it kind of just summed up our relationship with him perfectly by kind of doing something a bit left of center that neither of us had kind of done before. And straight away there was a spark and an energy with him. So we decided to do the album with him. So that's the birth of Filthy, Filthy Empire really. Um, I, I think the track's really unique in the fact that Aaron and Sid trade off each other. I think that's a really nice kind of touch to it and, and stands out from a lot of stuff that's out at the moment because you've got two very distinct voices kind of fighting each other. <laughs> it's a fun song to do live as well. I've been really enjoying it. Like I've, I've been noticing that it, just, it feels like we're playing it really well live at the moment. And it's, you know, when you get past the point of learning a song almost and to performing it and loving it they're three different stages and it feels like we're kind of rolling it it feels good and there's so many stories from every tour we've done you know opening for bands over the last few years uh, i remember the first time we toured with papa roach in europe that was a big inspiring moment you know seeing people like jacoby command five thousand people and just like absolutely tear it up and this is a festival so it's not like we're playing with them but it's a festival thing being stood on stage and hearing Tony Iommi's guitar rig be sound checked and just blow me across the stage. I'm there with like my little half stack or two half stacks and going, oh, this is proper loud thinking, yeah, this is, this is gnarly. And then like 17 amps just blow yeah. me across the stage. I'm like, that's, that's Also, that's uh, awesome. <laughs> last year we played uh, two Halloween shows with Alice Cooper. Uh, it was like our first ever arena show. It was over in Florida, I think. Yeah. So to play with Alice Cooper on Halloween was amazing. And he literally finished his set came and walked into our dressing room and like shook all our hands and was like, oh, I heard that it sounded really good earlier kind of thing. It was just mental to see him in the flesh and yeah. for him to like say nice yeah. things about your band. Just that guy partied with Elvis. Over the course of this year, everyone's going to be kind of getting ideas together and then after the touring cycle ends of Filthy Empire, we'll yeah. get ourselves into a room and- You, you can know, tell there's rumblings. You know, like, have you ever been in an earthquake? Like you can hear it coming. It, that you, you can hear the rumble in the distance. Have you been in an earthquake? <laughs> yeah. Have you never been in an earthquake? 
No, I tend to have them in northeast of England. <laughs> 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 we were at one at my house once, and you definitely were. Um, you, 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 anyway, you can hear the rumble in the, the background. Like you can hear people starting to play new ideas, or we're at like the sketchbook phase, but we've not sat down and gone. I think it's on. I think it's too commercial to do a follow up. I think we should retire we're go and, and to the keep our fingers crossed for Hall of Fame, <laughs> <laughs> which is like twenty four years from now. Hmm. Why not? Yeah. I can give you a few reasons. <laughs>